How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to be doing a pros and cons worth it or waste on the Acer C720 Chromebook. All right. So uh, we're going to make this nice and quick. Um, there's only a couple of Chromebooks in the market, but um, you know the question is: Is this really worth it, or for 200 bucks, is it not a good buy? Now, for the price, you probably hear that, and you're like, how could that not be a good buy? Well, let's go over the pros and cons, and then we'll see at the end if this is a worthwhile buy. All right. So, uh, first and foremost, well, I'm not going to do a lot of demonstration. I'm going to do more talking and just more hitting the quick points. So, just to uh, forewarn you about how the video shall go. And um, first things first, you have a great keyboard. Uh, great spacing as well as uh, typing is very comfortable uh, from the the tests I have done I did some basic web browsing and um, the typing was very fluid and um, didn't make too many mistakes so definitely a good uh, low main computer for typing especially typing things online word documents things like that uh, the next thing is awesome battery life. This does have an eight and a half, uh, eight and a half hour battery life, which is basically the equivalent of what you would get if you bought a tablet. For example, the iPad gets you about eight to ten hours. And a lot of the standard tablets are about eight to ten. So um, it's rare to find a computer that will get you a battery life that's over seven hours. So you're definitely gonna be able to take this guy out with you and be able to do a lot of typing and not have to worry about charging it up so much. Okay. Um, next thing is no need for antivirus because this uh, doesn't need it. So you actually save 40 bucks a year because you don't have to continuously pay to renew antivirus because because of the Chrome OS that is on here, which is the operating system, um, it's very secure and protected from viruses. So uh, not only is it a great price at $200, but it's also uh, going to save you money because you won't have to pay every year to have antivirus on it. Next thing is it does come stock with Google Docs, and I want to kind of zoom down a little bit here so I can show you this. Show you a little on the computer. And Google uh, Docs, basically, it's Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides, okay? And so those are three programs. Let's get a little adjusting here. Here we go. Those are three programs that basically mimic like uh, Microsoft, let's hit that right there, and we'll go down here, and here it is, just to zoom in a little bit there, so this is our Google Slides, which is like PowerPoint, Google Docs, which is like Word, and this is Google Sheets, which is like Excel, so those come stock, so guess what, don't have to pay any extra money to uh, pick up Microsoft Office, which will cost you at least $100 if you do buy the student version, which is only good for one year. So this is uh, such a great value device because it saves you money because of not only, again, the simplicity, but uh, it is it does come with a lot of built-in software and apps already. Now the next thing is... You do have the ability to plug in a wireless mouse, and I actually have just a basic Microsoft mouse, and I was able to plug this in and be able to control it. So that was really cool because everyone doesn't like using the trackpad, and therefore you do not have to. So it's definitely cool to be able to plug up the mouse and kind of use it, the computer, the way you are used to using it. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's keep it going here. Again, we have already kind of mentioned it, but this retails for $199. So it's a um, it's a price that definitely can't be ignored, and it's probably the reason why most of you are watching this video because you saw that price and you're like, "Damn, that is a crazy price." And so definitely the fact that it's 200 bucks, it is the lowest price Chromebook as well. So just gotta love the fact that I mean, 200 bucks is nothing. You know, you it would. Again, the average iPad is going to cost you three to four for new one five. So you definitely get a lot for the price, and the price is a great, great buy. All right, we're going to keep it going here. Next thing is it does have a USB 3.0 port, which is going to be on the side here. So you do have the ability to um, plug in newer hard drives and take advantage of that faster speed. So definitely a great plus, and it's definitely awesome that they have added that feature on there. 
I don't think the uh, Samsung Chromebook had 3.0. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think it did. So this definitely does uh, add one benefit to this one. Now, the next thing here, it does come with built-in solid-state memory, 16 gigs. So this this guy loads up super fast when you turn it on. A couple of seconds, and you are at the startup screen. So definitely another great plus. That's such a fast machine because of um, just the. Um, Solid state memory doesn't have a traditional hard drive, which also makes it more secure. So, if you were to drop it, you wouldn't uh, have to worry about your hard drive being damaged because it's no moving parts. So, once again, awesome plus there. Next thing does have built in webcam, which you can use to take advantage of Skype as well as Google Hangouts. So, that's awesome. Or if you just want to snap some pictures, so um, built in hardware, hardware is great. Next thing is you get such a slim and portable design. Just to show you, it is super slim, and you know, it's not like you know, paper, it's not super duper light, but it's not heavy. So, this is something that you could definitely take with you, and it really wouldn't be burdensome. I could even see some ladies tossing it into a big purse and take it out, do a little typing, pop it in, and keep going. So, um, definitely a great size, slim look, and portability is going to be definitely on point. Uh, also does have Bluetooth built in so you can link up a Bluetooth speaker as well as a Bluetooth headset so if you're out on the go you could hook up those wireless headphones and you can listen to your music on the device so once again another awesome plus now next thing is does have an HDMI out on the side however if you do purchase a Chromecast adapter which is only $35 you could actually mirror your screen wirelessly from your Chromebook to your TV so that's totally awesome so a $35 accessory will allow you to mirror whatever is on your screen to your TV definitely a sweet feature and that goes that even um, uh, includes if you're watching Netflix or Hulu you could do it all from your Chromebook so um, once again awesome feature definitely recommend picking up a Chromecast ad adapter to go with this and that plugs into your TV as long as your TV is HDMI and then you can uh, mirror your screen and have even more fun with it so super plus right there um, next to last thing is uh, this thing is great for video playback so uh, Viewing shows online. I didn't have to do any special uh, updates to watch videos online So you didn't have to update a flash player that was already updated right out of the box I was able to watch shows from my favorite websites as well as Netflix and Hulu. So um, Great great plus video playback is good. This is a great device for entertainment uh, And last thing is it is compatible with hard drive So you could plug in your own hard drive if you have more files stored on it And obviously you would want to take advantage of that because you do want to get 16 gigs of storage on the device when you buy it All right, let's jump to the cons here and the cons are that uh, Microsoft Office is not compatible with it. So that's no word Excel or PowerPoint now Obviously you do get Google's version, but Google's version is limited So I really recommend this to the person that's not going to do any serious typing um, but if you really need the serious advanced features of Microsoft Office this will not work for you because um, again uh, Google Docs Sheets and PowerPoint are a, a bit limited so this definitely would be a little bit better for just your, your uh, uh, casual typer but not your advanced I gotta use this every day I gotta do crazy elaborate projects on so just keep that in mind um, next con is that the keyboard is a bit limited just to give you a quick uh, look down at the keyboard uh, what you will notice is you don't see a cap lock button kind of weird I was typing I didn't realize why I kept pressing this in the search chip coming up you also don't have your your home your end key which are uh, you also don't have a delete so those are all buttons that you know you kind of get used to using when you're doing word processing you also do not have the function keys so the keyboard is slightly different, which is not that bad. It will take a bit of getting used to, but definitely wanted to point that out because for the person that's been typing for years on their laptop, um, you would get it immediately notice that the keyboard is slightly different. So just definitely wanted to make sure I point that out. Um, next thing is... This is not compatible. So one, there's no CD drive, so you cannot put your own CDs in, and it's not compatible with an external CD drive. So um, unfortunately, if you do have CDs, you cannot like 
put them in the computer and drop those files in here. And as well, uh, you cannot put a DVD in there and watch it because there is no CD drive and it's not compatible with the CD drives. So that was kind of a con for me because, you know, I do have a lot of DVDs and every now and then I'll go on a trip. And I would have loved to have been able to just pop in the disc and watch it. Um, but there are programs you can purchase that will let you rip your DVDs so you can um, put them on here in a digital format. But, you know, no CD drives. So just want to point that out as well. Uh, and next con is that you are really limited with storage. You get, you get only get 16 gigs. Now, you do get 100 gigs of Google Drive storage. But you don't have access to that if you don't have the internet. So if you're if you're going to be a lot of places where you're not going to have the internet, that 100 gigabytes of storage will not help you. So uh, again, another con. Now I recommend to pick up, you know, a flash drive, uh, 64 gigs, 128 gigs, and then you can store a lot of a lot of files on there. But you can't count the computer because 16 gigs is not going to let you store a lot of information. So definitely want to keep that in mind because that is quite the limitation all right our next con is going to be that there is uh, no op options really for advanced photo or video editing so no Photoshop um, you a lot of those programs are only Windows based so you cannot install them on here as well again this is more of an entertainment device it's not really for uh, advanced uh, features like that so uh, if you were buying it and did want to do some video editing you might find some apps in the Chrome store but you're not going to find too much so keep that in mind that you can't do a lot you could probably find a couple of photo editing apps but nothing too elaborate again like your professional Photoshop um, next thing is there is no Ethernet port so you cannot plug in uh, a wired internet connection it has to be wireless so Definitely want to keep that in mind too because uh, you'd have to always be somewhere where there is wireless. And if not, you'd want to pick up a little adapter that could make a uh, wired internet wireless. You can get one in fries for like 30 bucks. But, um, you know, sometimes you, you, know, you go somewhere that they only have a cord to plug in. So if you don't have that cord, you're kind of out of luck because there's nowhere to plug it in. So another con there. Very last con is going to be this is not compatible with Windows programs and I have kind of mentioned that in some of the other cons but um, this is a whole different operating system. It's Chrome OS and so because of that uh, it does operate different and it will not let you install Windows programs so uh, for example you cannot install iTunes on here because that's a Windows program or a Mac program so you just want to keep those things in mind because it's great for a lot of things, but uh, some of the things you might be used to are not going to be on here. So this is actually a really good computer for people who are starters, beginners, never used a computer before because they can learn a lot. But for someone who's used computers for a long time, this might be a little bit of a challenge because a lot of things you're used to, you're not going to be able to really do. So anyway, the question is, pros and cons, worth it or a waste? And if we do our drum roll... We'll definitely say that this is a worth it. At $199, this is an amazing price. Um, there are some things you do have to get over in terms of it not being compatible with the Windows program, but it does so much. And for the price, you cannot beat it. What I recommend for you guys as well, a lot of retail stores will let you purchase it, and you have a return policy anywhere from 14 days to 30 days. If it's the holidays, you get up until January. Pick one up, try it, see if it works for you, and if not, you can always return it. Now, make sure you check to see if the store does have a restocking fee, because some stores will charge you to return it, but uh, other stores will not. So, I know Best Buy, for example, doesn't charge a restocking fee. So, such an awesome device, and um, again, for the price, you just cannot beat it. This would be a great gift for the holidays, great gift for your, your uh, junior high students and teens coming up, for the People that want to do, again, just that casual typing, but also want to be able to web browse. You're going to love this computer, and I definitely recommend it. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video. As well as, make sure you follow us on Facebook, facebook.com, slash h2techvideos. And, make sure you follow us on Instagram, at h2techvideos. Thanks for watching. Take care, and have a good one.